It was a day, very much like today, when I woke up, I looked out and the sky was blue and the clouds were light and the sun was shining. And I stopped on my way down to work. My office was on the 67th floor of World Trade Center One to have an unexpected coffee. And then at approximately 8.46 or 7, the world changed and the bright sky turned dark, sometimes dark eternally for so many. I was whisked down towards my office by the police who informed me that the towers had been struck. And as I got closer, I learned from the radio, we had no cell phones operating, that both towers had been hit and that thousands of lives had been lost. That was perhaps the darkest day in my life, 9-11-2001. It was the first time I ever felt after that day and the days that followed that our whole world joined together in an effort of sympathy, driven by sympathy, to rebuild. And a lesson I've learned, which I hope I've passed on to my children, the children who are listening, and to my grandchildren, that no matter what happens, if you survive the fall and move forward, you can rebuild and reach higher heights. But 9-11-2001, the thousands of friends lost and the efforts of millions around the world from every country to rebuild a stronger and better world. We all know that 9-11-2001 will never forget.